If you don't like what you do, then do something else. But today I'm doing what I like to do. The only problem is I've been debating on what I was gonna title this video and I've decided that this is gonna be titled the best worst case scenario. Kind of see where it goes from there. So the customer that I'm dealing with calls said one of his tenants has got some bees in it. I'm going, who, okay? Um, not that that's bad, but you're dealing with a lot of people as far as what you're doing. So the tenant had bees starting getting into the house, okay? That doesn't indicate that that's when they showed up, but a lot of times it does. We come down, we took a look at things, realized definitely got a lot of forage. So the bees had a lot that they could gather and grow with. Well, there is going to be a little bit more involvement in getting this done than what I expected. They're in one of the, they're in kind of one of those impossible to get out almost situations. Let me show you. So I get this a lot, half brick, half vinyl, bees coming and going right at that edge. This, because of where these grout lines are, bees can get up in those grout lines, just like they're doing right there. They get up in there, set up shop. We can remove the vinyl, cut the band board, and then go ahead and take the bees out from the outside. That would be an option. I probably would have had to remove this one section going down through there. We might have even had to go up two, two sections of vinyl to get to it. I'm not generally one who puts vinyl back unless I absolutely have to, so that was gonna cost them more to have somebody else come in and do the repairs. So let's go look inside and see what option we have that way. Did I happen to mention it's really hot and dark in this room and look what we got we have ceiling tile we did our measurements we located our colony and let me show you what we found look at that if they're building comb out here we've got bees that are trying to get out from the main colony all right to hang out because it's so hot they're bearding through the inside because it's cooler in here underneath the house that's floor joist Upper other side of it is a what? Band board. So now we're in a worst case scenario. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna get to the bees? So now I've gotta sit here and think, can I cut, which one of these can I cut where it, where it hurts the less on the house? Now when I look, I've got a support board right there. I can see through the hole and there's my outer band board. There's nails right here. That means that there is a there is a, there's a cross um, board right there, and there's another one right there. And sure enough, from here to here is what I got for bees. I've looked up in there, and I don't have extension comb in the next void, nor do I have it over here. We got some bees hanging out, but man, I'm glad they decided to do it here and not there. I think what we're gonna do, since I brought a replacement piece of wood, where I can put this board back in, toenail it in, and then I've got another section to go on top of that to help hold it together. I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, so for all you purists I'm, that are all into the like carpentry stuff, you got a little piece of paper that says you're like really good at that, this is for you. Don't freak out. You gotta get them out. The brace to the right, the brace to the left is what is holding that floor joist in place up against the floor, everything's good. We're gonna get that piece put back up in there and then we're gonna put another one going on the outside of that, nail the stew out of it, the floor is gonna be fine. You got a problem, call your mom, but but don't be yelling at me in my dang, in my comments. Back to that worst case scenario. Now granted, there's not a lot of flow on this time of the season. That don't make them real happy. That makes them more defensive, which makes them not like me even more. But yeah, great. We're gonna try to um, 
cut the boards. So let's. I guess I'll go reason with them. Let's try that. If my eye don't swell up, I got. I took one. Yeah, I got me a yappy eye. On the way. Yeah, it's that bad. It's really got me wondering why these bees are so pissy. Time of the year, being messed with, all those things, they count, but they, these girls are staying mad. There's some genetics that are like that. There's some airplanes that go over and ruin my shot. T-shirt number two. Did I tell you it's hot out? I mean, it's like 95 degrees and humidity is about 94 percent we finally got into it horrible way to open it had to wear a bee suit there's no air conditioning vents downstairs so the only thing i got going is the fact that i'm half below grade and it's a little cooler but it ain't working out now i gotta find a queen as crazy runny as all these bees are this one's gonna be fun let's go look Heck yeah. Where's that queen at? Look at that. Nice. Nice. Nothing really flying around. Good job. I literally just walked back up this dang ladder. There's like 75 bees up there in that. There she is. I've been I've been checking the box for the last few minutes trying to see if I could find her and they are so loud that I just got off the phone with my wife and I said I don't think I got my queen yet. Fox sitting over there. I mean they're just <laughs> loud. But I went back and I checked the hole and and right there to the right side was our queen so whoa anyway sorry so you want to send me put it back together again well let's go battery went dead so now i'm definitely going to get some flack from all the carpenters about putting that back together since well i've ran out of footage on that i'll introduce you to acro not a t-rex as always thanks for checking out the video guys uh click right click left and uh hope you guys enjoy the video see ya